Hey everyone, Pam here. I went to the thrift stores today and huge, huge haul. Um, I'd say, well, it's a small haul, but it's a huge score. So uh, let me share with you some of the stuff that I got. Um, these three film strips are, they're three and a, almost three and a half feet long and they, um, there's three of them here, and I know exactly where two of them are going to go. So, got those. I got a staircase for the puppy that I don't have yet. <laughs> so, but I'm preparing because I want a puppy. And um, I found this little book also on how to raise him and make sure he's a well-behaved little puppy. And, um... Got two brand new um, sets. There's uh, six chipboard stencils in here with some nice designs. So I got one for me and one to give away, or one set for me and one set to give away. There's this set here of uh, characters. It's there's actually I counted them 258 pieces, and that includes alpha, numeric, and symbol. Sorry for the glare and shadows. Um, here I picked up a, a puzzle. Isn't this awesome? All watch parts, and I try not to buy any more puzzles, but I couldn't pass this one up. That one's just too cool. So, um, and I'll be using that just for the pieces in uh, some, I'll just be using the little pieces, but um, I think, anyway, <laughs> maybe I'll do it and hang it. But uh, this, if you've never seen a fish board, and it may be called a fillet board, but what you do is this end here has a really super, super strong clip. I mean, I can barely close that with my hand. But um, uh, super strong. And you put the fish fin in here, and then it lays across the board. This kind of helps keep the fish from sliding off. And you use that then to scale it, um, fillet it, whatever it is that you need to do while you're working with this fish just to keep it uh, from sliding around on you. Um, so what I want to do is do some mixed media work on this and then I was thinking of maybe doing a steampunk fish. Um, I don't know. I, I'm just getting thoughts off the cuff but I was kind of thinking like leather and uh, we'll see what what it what develops, but you know another project on the board. <laughs> All right, so so back to the haul. Um, I did get one sweater. It's um, cold weather. I don't have very many sweaters, and I bought a total with the book on the puppy. There's a total of six, uh, no, seventeen books, and. I'm going to stop the video later and then I'll show you a couple of the ones that were my favorite that just kind of got me excited um, and what the plan is for them. And then I did buy this box. It's a new box of 100 file folders that I'll be using for various books and I don't need them. I mean, I don't need any of this stuff. You know how that goes, but um, this box here was only a dollar ninety nine. I couldn't pass it up. So, um, and then with a discount on top of that, um, these here are just um, the cardboard notebooks for the half size, the uh, eight, eight and what is it, eight and a half by five and a half inch sheets that you use in these kind of leather binders. This one here is a nice binder that has um, some papers in it and I'll include these kind of just an open-in show of 
what's in these. These two binders here are leather. Oh my goodness, they are so, oh, just so wonderful. Um, this one needs a little cleaning up, but it is a, um, it's full grain Napa leather, and it's by Franklin Covey, and beautiful shape. The snap is nice and strong, and then uh, this one here is another all leather one. I'll open it up on the table to give you a better view, and the same thing with this other book. I can't wait to show you this one. You'll really, I think you'll enjoy it. So I also got a, um, a Rolodex. It's not the size that I was looking for, but I couldn't pass this up for the price. Um, so I'll, I may sell that. I may, I don't know what I'll do with it. But And then this is just a box with a few greeting cards in it. Um, I thought the images were just so beautiful, and I have, I think they're just so, so pretty. So, and they're just blank cards inside, um, so they could become ephemera fodder or, um, a gift. So, the biggest score of the day, though, was this unit here, this... Uh, hold on a minute. For the score of the day. And it's, um, it measures 47 inches, 47 or 48 inches by wide, by two feet tall, by one foot deep. So it, um, you know, and these drawers here. You know, I mean, it's just, it's in beautiful shape. It's, I think it's probably the pressed wood, um, but it's fine. I mean, it's super heavy. I could barely move it even with the dolly. Um, well, I guess it wasn't that, that, well, yeah, it was pretty heavy. Um, but I was able to get it out of the car, you know, just. Uh, in the... Franklin Covey books, um, these leather bound books. And look at that, that was only $1.99. <laughs> All leather, crazy. Um, but it has these wonderful index dividers, one through 31, um, all blank, ready for materials. And then some reference um, addresses, a nice page lifter, some business card holders, and then just plain notes. So good materials, all usable. And then in the one that has, um, had some more pages, it's all address pages, and then communication records. Those are also usable. The one that, haha, <sighs> I just fell in love with this. This is so much fun. And, um, well, here we go. Here's an eight and a half by eleven sheet of paper. So yeah, it is that same same length, and um, but it just has these dividers in it, and then room inventory. So you can put a picture in here, and then you do your room inventory. But I just loved the dividers. So of course, you know that's going to be. I think I think this is. This is something I'm going to use, like, all right away, I think. So I'm just really excited about this one. And these were the first books that I found when I walked into the store and caught my attention because it says on this one, 20 years of sleeping around. And both of these are by Peter Alexander. And they're just fun. Look at this opening. <laughs> and the book itself, it just, look at all this. And then it's a pop-up. It's a pop-up for adults. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. 
and he designs pajama wear, which is what he meant by the sleeping around. Look at that. Pop-up book for adults. I just so love it. And I love the style. So, I mean, this is just too much fun. Real strong, strong, sturdy pages. Um, but yeah, look at that. Whoops. Uh-oh, that didn't pop up very well. Just tore it. Well. Haha, <laughs> look at that. Is that cool? <laughs> so, so this was fun. And see how, how I use it. I think it's not, not going to act. There we go. So, so yeah, just a fun book. I really got a kick out of that. And then this other book is quite love. Oh, this is absolute pink heaven. Can you see that gilt on the edges? So instead of gold, it's pink. I've never seen pink gilt on a book. <laughs> it's, I love it. So there's just a lot of really, really fun images in here. So I'm not quite sure how I'm going to use the book. Oh, look at that, all paper dolls. Just, just a lot of fun. So this one I thought was a score. Oh, and look, fold out like Playboy. <laughs> look at that. Oh, just too much fun. So these will, these will be, these will be fun to work with. You know, the whole mixed media thing is, you know, and doing collage is all new to me. Well, here are some pages that are already photo collage, but um, so that's new to me. So these are just um, fun additions to the growing collection. And um, yeah, so I thought those were great. And then I scored with, this is for, of course, ephemera. Oh, look at these, this is all, it's on mathematical tables, and look at that. Is that beautiful? My in frame, yep. Let's see, can you see that? Oh, too glary, I think. Gosh. Try this. I hope that other wasn't too glary. See that? No, I think it's too shadowed. Well, all right. And then this Webster's Dictionary, this is an older one. And what was what drew me to purchase it was that it's so teeny tiny. Like I can't read it with my aging eyes right now. Um, I would need a magnifying glass, but um, but it is something different um, that I don't have. So I thought that was a good one. These books here, um, if uh, this is just so bizarre. And if morbid images offend you, please close your eyes now. Because I'm just going to show a couple of pages. But yeah, super creepy. This is on dentures. And it's a textbook. So close your eyes if you don't like creepy things. But yeah, look at these images. Are they cool? Can you see those? Look at that. Whoa, let's see. Is that cool? And then things like that. And what is it? This. These definitely will get used in maybe a Halloween book. Uh, that's what I'm thinking. Um, and then this. This is. I mean, I've landed on this particular page and this image at least three times um, since I bought the book, since I picked it up. And um, so anyway, so, okay, so the morbid images are, um, you can open up your eyes now if you closed them. So I love that book just for something very unique and different. And this one is fun. It's got a lot of Western images. And I've been saving, um, I have a belt that has 
braided horse hair and leather. It was the most expensive belt I've ever purchased in my life. And I think my waist was maybe huh, something dinky tiny at the time. And um, I got a lot of wear out of it. And the leather is quite worn where it buckles. But I wanted to make that as a closure or a component in an album. And I thought that these western images would go really well um, with that belt. And I've got a few other things somewhere. But I thought that one was a cool one. Lots of lovely classic western images from our... And then this. Now, again, if you don't like bugs, um, please close your eyes. But this book here just blew me away. So close your eyes, close your eyes if you don't like bugs. Um, but they're gigantic. They're gigantic. Look at these pages, like, fold out. And the images are just fabulous. Just fabulous. Look at, look at that. Oh, just in bug heaven. All right. So, oh, and this one here. This one is my favorite. This is my favorite. Can you see that? Oh, let me get that glare off. Sorry about the glare, you guys. But look at that. Is that gorgeous? I have never seen a mantis. That's that's a mantis. Like a I haven't read it yet. It's a it's called the spiny flowering mantis. Is that gorgeous? It's like a cross between a praying mantis and a butterfly. But and then look at this. Look, look at that. That's a fly. I mean, I just want to use up all these images. They are so yummy. All right. So, anyway. Okay, so these books here, uh, this one is really awesome. Um, when I first browsed through it, I really wasn't sure if I was going to uh, keep it or pass it on. But the, as, as soon as I started really looking at it, I am hooked. I can't wait to actually read this book. Um, but this is a lot of fun. It's called uh, Journal Bliss, Creative Prompts to Unleash Your Inner Eccentric um, by Violet. And um, very good book so far. I'm enjoying that. Because um, I did take a few minutes after I went through this the first time. This one here, Bent, Bound, and Stitched. Collage, cards, and jewelry with a twist. This looks so interesting. I was just browsing through it, and it just looks... It expands your mind, let's say. You know, inspiration, instruction, um, fun stuff. Really fun stuff. So, looking forward to referring to that. This book, <laughs> I actually have on my shelf. I purchased it recently, as a matter of fact, and I think probably from the same store because I remember that day seeing two books, and I almost bought both of them at the same time. I'm. This is really an awesome book, and it does have... Um, it just has so many different techniques, and... Um, so this is one that I will um, pass on, either give away or sell, I'm not sure, but um, yeah, it's, it's got a lot of really cool techniques in it. So, um, so this is a good one. And then this, I've, I wasn't sure, I did check my shelves because I to see if I had it because I remember seeing this and I think I saw this at the fabric store so I was really thrilled to to see this and I bought it even if I was buying a duplicate but uh, luckily I'm not so this one here is the only copy that I have um, and it's got some really cool techniques in it I just love that kind of three-dimensional the folding I think that gives some really nice effect um, so learning those techniques. I don't know, maybe I do have this, but that's okay. Uh, I have a, another book on Kanzashi, um, 
that has a lot of folding. So that could be what I'm thinking of. But it just, it, it's got some great techniques. So that will go into my personal library. Um, but I did want to share a summary of uh, everything. So the total cost for today's bounty was uh, $67.25. And I bought a total of 38 items. So my average cost per item, on average, was $1.77. <laughs> Is that cool? So, um, so anyway, just wanted to share that with you. Thank you so much if you've watched through all of this. I just really appreciate it. And I hope you had a good time. I love these kind of shares and seeing what people get at these great prices or or even if it's not at a great price just what kind of stuff did you get so um i enjoy haul videos so i hope you do too um this was a lot of fun and again thank you for watching and feel free to comment let's interact on this and uh give me a thumbs up if you liked it and please subscribe if you haven't already all right thanks so much bye